he persevered in terms of ensuring that the cause was fulfilled, that they achieved independence. Uh, I think over time he matured in terms of what his strategy was. He listened, one th it was good and bad. I mean, he, he listened to his men a lot, uh, which sometimes got him into trouble. He would hold these councils of war, and he became, you know, as we talked about, a facilitator. He would hold these councils of war, and in some cases that got him in trouble when uh, they lost Forts Washington and Lee, and they were surrounded by the British. His men, had, his, you know, Nathaniel Green, as one example, told him, hey, we need to hold these forts, and in the end they just lost both the forts and the men. Um, so he was, the one thing that was interesting to me was he, despite his dominating presence, despite the fact that he was a commander in chief, he did a lot of listening to people and I think he learned over time. I think that strategy that we talked about of, hey, I've got to keep the American army in the field, um, and as long as the American army is alive, then the revolution is alive. <coughs> uh, I think he developed that strategy over time as he, as he fought the war. And it was very difficult for him because all the, everyone you know, in the colonies, all the different uh, governors and mayors wanted him to dispense troops to protect their town. And he knew if he did that, all the different groups would, all these different groups of soldiers would be you know, knocked off one by one by the British. So I think the good thing about him was <coughs> long term he persevered in his ultimate goal, but he was flexible and learned along the way um, and suffered many defeats you know, throughout his career, especially early on. And, and there was, you know, a, uh, a big push to remove him. Um, uh, a lot of people thought that he was not the right general. There was another general, General Lee, uh, who was a British general that people looked to and said that, you know, this is a British officer that had been a, an officer in the British Army. He should really be the senior most commander. Luckily for the United States, he was uh, captured by the British at an opportune time. Um, and uh, Washington was able to retain command. There was another uh, cabal where they were trying to, it's called the Conway Cabal, where they were trying to replace Washington. Um, and uh, it was sort of a whole behind the scenes thing for, again, another foreign officer. Um, and he was able to work his way through that. But I think that, again, so to, to sum up, perseverance in the long term view, but he was able to adapt going through.